We are back now with Steve Constantine, HEV, VKs. Steve brings it every week, but you may have raised the bar even higher. There you go. You're, there's, Beer a and reason, That's America. there's a reason Mr. Shields has uh, come over here. Definitely. Amanda's graciously offered up her spot. Because <laughs> what, Tell us what you're making today. So basically, guys, what was on my mind is Labor Day is right around the corner, tailgating, so a lot yeah. of uh, backyard uh, grilling, barbecuing. Mm -hmm. um, the season. And I just wanted to bring a little something from uh, my journey in my life and uh, share, with, share that with you guys. Um, basically, today we're going to do Wisconsin meets Texas beer bowl brats. Whoa. So basically, back home in Wisconsin, we always cook our bratwurst in beer. That's going to help infuse a lot of flavor. There's nothing wrong the with that, by the no, way. No, no, no. Nothing wrong with that. I thought all those people from Wisconsin <laughs> looked pretty happy. No, no, no. I knew there was a reason. Yeah. So, so basically, we cook the bratwurst in beer. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to keep your bratwurst moist. It's going to okay. add a whole lot of flavor, as well as you're actually going to cook off a little bit of the fat, and that, that really? fat is going to float to the top of your beer. Huh. So This is healthy. So it's, it's a sort little of. healthier touch. Healthier. Okay. So, but so it's, all, it's all about the flavor. So you Absolutely. put two bottles of beer in uh, with your Johnson bratwurst those are from southeast uh, Wisconsin mm -hmm. now obviously it's Wisconsin meets Texas so I'm doing a little fusion with that Texas okay. twist so okay, we're using the Johnsonville brats and then the Shiner Bach beer um, Shiner I've heard Bach of that. beer you've from, done well yeah. I think yes. I think, yes. Yes. yes so basically just let those boil a couple minutes um, when the brats are fully cooked then you can take them outside and you can grill them okay Done. so obviously we're cooking indoors so I got my handy dandy grill pan right here is, is that the step like I'll confess to this, sometimes when you're trying to grill brats or something, mm -hmm. people, the guys want to skip. You want to go straight to the grill instead yes. of kind of paying. Obviously, you're doing that with the beer here, but exactly. you to don't skip that step. To each his own, but by cooking it in the beer and then grilling, you're mm -hmm. going to add that extra layer of flavor. Okay. And okay. that's important. Yeah. So for me personally, I've never been a big fan of sauerkraut. So mm -hmm. what we've got here next to our bratwurst, this you. is caramelized onions. Um, basically, I've just lightly sauteed the onions for a couple minutes. Uh, just to get them started. Mm -hmm. So they're just soft, they're caramelized. Okay. By the way, that's a beautiful sound right there, the sizzle. It's not mm -hmm. It's not just a sound, you can see it. The juice it's is popping up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So the onions are just uh, started. Okay. Um, they're soft, they're tender. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in this uh, Shiner Bach and brown sugar marinade into the onions. To make a long story short, okay. this is gonna help infuse the onions with a whole lot of flavor. The Cook & Company's uh, Shiner Bach Brown Sugar Marinade is a great mm. uh, marinade for meats, or you can let this infuse your onions and assist in the caramelization process. So we're doing okay. double Shiner action here. Exactly, oh, you got it. Yes. And then once okay. you're done caramelizing the onions, uh, you let that reduce down until there's no liquid, and then basically you end up with this right here. This is a, a bowl of my onions that have been reduced, and they've absorbed all that sauce. Boy, so now all that, that marinade flavor is right here in the onions. A work of art there, You Steve. got it, Perfect. thank you. You can also use the onions onions on chicken, you can use it with a steak as well, put a little blue cheese on top, you know, however you like it. And um, what the other cool thing about these brats too, and just all kinds of dogs, there's a million ways to do it. I know yes. you brought in some other different sauces and mm -hmm. flavors and mustards, and yep. I mean, there's a million ways to play with it. They're they're all good if yep. you enjoy a good good mm -hmm. uh, dog or brat on the grill. Definitely, definitely. Good. So it's all about pairing those flavors, yeah. those combinations yep. together. So to wrap it up, basically we have this brand new uh, beer mustard from Fredericksburg, all the way from so, Fredericksburg. Mm -hmm. right. This is the last week that we're going to be local. featuring the Fisher Weiser brand sauces. Uh, they're made out in the Texas Hill Country in mm -hmm. Fredericksburg, and this week for back to school, um, they're buy one get one free. So definitely stop by your cooking connection, take advantage of that. So we're using this beer mustard with the caramelized onions and the beer bowl brat. So you've got the uh, sharpness from the mustard, mm -hmm. you've got the, the beer flavor in the bratwurst, and then also you got those delicious caramelized onions. So I know, Zach, you wanted to well, join. Here, here's, yes. here's my thinking on this, Zach. We, we've had a very Longhorn-centric uh -huh. show. We're going to be talking about the horns coming up. All right, we've already had the UT, the big event tonight we previewed. So in honor of Zach's Aggies playing even before... <laughs> Well, for our horns are on Thursday night, you have, have Thank the you. bite. You Take have it. the first bite. Thank you, Mr. Freilich. After last week, too, I don't eat Steve's cooking unless someone feeds it to no, me. No. I mean, that's kind of the way I do it. So, <laughs> no, 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 that's you. Okay, this one. So, Wisconsin meets Texas oh. beer bowl brats, y'all. What do you think? Very good. Oh. Good? Well, the mustard, the sweetness, and the brat. All <laughs> one. <laughs> Wonderful. Definitely. Get you in the mood, get you in the spirit. We're ready? Let's go, Aggies. Let's go. Uh, Let's play tonight. Let's well. go. <laughs> yeah. Again, it does smell wonderful mm. and uh, looks wonderful. I'm sure it will taste wonderful. Steve, thank you so much. Oh, thank As you, As always, guys. we appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for breakfast, Steve. You're, you're <laughs> <appreciate> <laughs> that, that is a breakfast. That's, I mean, oh. you can't beat a beer brat for All breakfast. All American right here.